Subfixtures are a name given in the Brompton Tessera system for any type of panel, button, mesh or pixel which does not contain its own R2 card, but which connects to the processor via a data distributor or buffer box, which is referred to in the Tessera system as a node. In standard video wall systems, the panels or fixtures are controlled via receiver cards in the fixture, which connects to the processor. Where sub-fixtures are deployed, the receiver card is in the node and can control multiple sub-fixtures. Sub-fixtures are a great creative tool, but there is a penalty on the number of pixels which can be connected to the processor output when using them, and the effective output of that port is reduced. For a detailed understanding of how capacity is reduced and by how much, please refer to section 7 of the Tessera user guide and the capacity calculator which is on the support section of our website. When using the S4, S8 or SX40 processors as shown in this video, you can rotate subfixtures by 90 degree increments. On our creative processors, the T1 and M2, you can rotate subfixtures by 1 degree increments. To start adding subfixtures to your project, ensure the control boxes are connected and press the Add from Network button to place your first control box. Once you have done this, exit back to the Canvas window and right click on the control box and select Configure. Here you can tell the processor how many subfixtures you have connected to each port of the control box and what subfixture type they are. I have chosen to use row strips for this example and I have one on the first port, three on the second, one on the third and two on the fourth. Now that you have told the processor which subfixtures are running and from what ports, press OK and select the Add from Network button again. Select the subfixtures from the available fixtures. You will then see that the subfixtures for your control box have appeared, with the correct number of subfixtures on each port. Place them on your canvas. The topology for your subfixtures will show according to the way you have configured your control box. Now that you have placed your sub-fixtures, it's possible to move and rotate them on your canvas. You can also put them into groups, for example all fixtures on the floor that might need to be a different intensity to those elsewhere. The second way to add sub-fixtures while they are online is to place your nodes through the Add From Network button. Confirm the nodes have then been added and return to the main menu. Next, right click on the node and select Add Subfixtures. This opens a menu on the right where it's possible to select these. When you have added the correct number of fixtures for the first port, click the Next Port button. Add the remaining fixtures for your other ports. Finally, wait a few seconds and click the Configure Root Node button that appears. This is very useful if you have a lot of nodes and sub-fixtures. Finally, the third way is to use the Offline Editor to place your nodes and sub-fixtures. This is very useful when preparing your show file in advance. I have already loaded the show file I created offline with my two nodes and subfixtures attached. Click the Add from Network button and select your control boxes, then click on the unassociated control boxes to associate them. This then detects the subfixtures on that node and adds them as well. Again, as a final step, click the Configure Root Node button. This should have shown you how to add subfixtures to your canvas and how they can be used. See you in the next tutorial.